I'm with Sergeant Michael Perone, who is one of the car seat installers here at the police department. Also as part of the program, we have Officer Pascalino and Officer Sylvester who are with us here today. Tell me a little bit about why this is important, Mike, to have people come in and have these checked. Uh, well, a number of car seats that we see um, that, that parents initially try to install themselves, um, not necessarily stall, installed incorrectly, but there's not necessarily up to the standards that um, we want to see. Uh, as far as tightness of the seat or positioning of the seat. Um, so we like to have these checkpoints just to make sure that um, when the parents do put them in or when they're assisted by somebody else, they're put in the right way. Excellent. It's, it's really a nice offering available free of charge to have this happen. So it's a great way you can contact the police department, come in and do this. They do this on a regular basis. Today we're doing it as a larger part of the National Take Back Day in conjunction with the safety fair. So we're going to watch you get at it. Okay. So the latch system is these here. Okay. Um, when you look in a car, a lot of people don't realize what they are. You'll see little buttons on the seat. In this particular case, they're exposed. So okay. this is the latch system right here. It's on the bars on each side. So what we try to do when we uh, to get sort of the maximum pressure on these belts is sort of push down on the middle of um, the base of the seat and then pull this forward. One problem you encounter sometimes is that it will get stuck in the plastic. You just kind of want to elevate um, that latch to kind of get uh, in between the, the two pieces of plastic so that you can get the maximum amount of pressure on it. Once you pull that forward, you can check it just to make sure there's less than an inch of movement from side to side and front to back, which this one obviously has. And you do want a little bit of movement this way for that shock absorbing action that I mentioned earlier. Uh, once that's in, take the cradle and sort of drop it in. This is actually perfect because this is going to give you the maximum maximum amount of room for the passenger and you can still get a hand in between the seat and the cradle. So you will have that uh, shock absorbent action going from front to back. Um, so that's great. You want them to be in there pretty snug. I, I know um, some parents are really concerned about putting too much pressure on the child's body, but you don't want to ever be able to get um, any of this in between your fingers. You don't, ever, you don't ever want to be able to get a finger underneath it. We call that like the pinch test. Uh, if you can, definitely in there too loose. Um, this is going to go uh, mid-chest, right at the indent in the child's chest. We don't recommend using those mirrors that you see. I don't know if you have one or not. Is there one right there? Yeah, you see those a lot. And the reason why we don't recommend them is a lot of these accessories that you see aren't certified by NHTSA, which is the National Highway Safety folks. Um, every car seat, in order to be certified, every car seat has to be um, certified by NHTSA in order for them to sell it. Um, accessories don't have to be. Uh, you want to leave the child rear facing um, for up to, two, uh, we, we say two years old is sort of the gold standard now. That's what they want is for um, the child to stay that way until they're two. I will say some kids are bigger than others. It might not be possible if they're crunched in there. Um, but a year and a half at a minimum uh, is what I would tell you. You'll have a different seat anyways by the time that happens. It's called a convertible seat, obviously. But just like in the winter time and stuff like that, be conscious of your snow scrapers, windshield washer fluid, uh, things like that that you would put in the cabin of the vehicle. Because in the event of a crash or if you slam your brakes on, that stuff comes forward on top of the child, just throw it in the trunk. But uh, short of that, you're good to go. So thanks for coming in. If we can do anything else for you, always need to feel free to email us and we'll take care of you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Have a good one. Bye, kids.